فرعون when he said أنا ربكم الأعلى I am the biggest God of you and denied the Almighty God by saying that state أليس في جهنم مثوى للكافرين and let's move on to ayah number 33 والذي جاء بالصدق وصدق به أولئك هم المتقون and this ayah when we compare it with the ayah 32 it is in the same way talks about uh, some people but in, the, in an opposite way in the ayah number 32 Allah Azawajal talked about the liars and their followers and in this ayah Allah Azawajal will talk about the truthful ones وَالَّذِي جَاءَ بِالصِّدْقِ look how Allah Azawajal describing them وَالَّذِي جَاءَ بِالصِّدْقِ and those and that one who came with the truth جَاءَ بِالصِّدْقِ meaning that the messengers of Allah they came with the truth they came with the revelation of Allah from Allah Azawajal. they came with the truth جَاءَ بِالصِّدْقِ and we can understand it uh, widely someone who came with the truth in any matter, in any issue who said the, who said the truth or someone who made the ilm or may, made science and uh, bring some truth to the humanity about any uh, thing وَالَّذِي جَاءَ بِالصَّدْقِ those who came with the truth والذي جاء بالصدق وصدق به and those who approved them those who believed in them والذي جاء بالصدق وصدق به the one who came with the truth and those who following him accepting him وصدق به in the ayah number 32 there was a word وكذب and in this ayah وصدق so we can compare the two, the two ayah because one of them talks about the believers and the other one talks about the deniers and defining them with uh, the same wordings وَالَّذِي جَاءَ بِالصَّدْقِ coming with the truth think any uh, situation in the life if you are the one who come with the truth informing the people the truth talking about the truth you are the one who come with the truth first of all the messengers of Allah they came with the truth and if you convey the same message in any environment you are one of those who came with the truth وَالَّذِي جَاءَ بِالصَّدْقِ imagine you are with your friend if it's your friends and everyone talk about some certain issues but no one wants to remember Allah Azza wa Jal, the Almighty God you began with the word that Allah is the one who created us and remembering about Allah Azza, Allah Azza wa Jal, and convey the message you are one of those who came with the truth والذي جاء بالصدق and the people before you may accept you and be one of those who whom Allah said about وَصَدَّقَ بِهِ and those who believed in the truth وَصَدَّقَ بِهِ those who approved the truth وَصَدَّقَ بِهِ وَالَّذِي جَاءَ بِالصَّدْقِ وَصَدَّقَ بِهِ أُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْمُتَّقُونَ so the religion of Allah Azza wa Jal, the foundation of this religion is the truth and this truth 
is understandable truth, comprehensible truth. We are, Islam is not the religion who says to the people, this, these are the truth and you should accept, you must accept them. You cannot understand them. This is not the way of Islam. Islam denies following anything without knowledge, without understanding. So the truth can be understandable and Allah Azza wa guarantee that He gave us the abilities to understand the truth and He will make that truth plain for every single man in this life. So you may consider that the truth, the truth of Islam, but if I cannot understand it, every religion has truth according to them and every religion wants the human to believe in that truth. No, Islam says you should understand the truth. This is my way, says the Prophet in an ayah in Quran. This is the way Allah wants him to say This is my way. I call you to Allah to Almighty God ala basiratin ala basiratin not blindly through understanding ala basira and realizing and aware about the truth if you do not understand if you do not comprehend then do not follow try to understand if it is not the truth, then do not accept it. But you should have the pure intention. Because there are people says that they do not understand and that this is not the truth. Although they are in, uh, inside themselves understand it. And He is the one, Allah Azza wa Jal, who knows the people and who knows their enormous uh, thoughts. And He will uh, ask them, He will take all of them before Him and He will uh, judge between them. We are not the people who will judge. We are only responsible about ourselves. If you pure, if you sincere in yourself that you do not understand it, it so you are you are denying then your account uh, uh, will be uh, for Allah Azza wa Jal. we are not inter interested in it but we know that the truth is clear and Allah Azza wa Jal made every uh, science of him clear in this life and uh, he invited them to the truth through his prophets and no one can be excused in this life if he denies his Creator. So the truth is standard and it's understandable and it is common everywhere and all the people, every single man has the ability to understand it. Those who came with the truth and the people who approved them. They are those who have taqwa. What does it mean taqwa? They are those who protected themselves. Who protected themselves from the evil of that day. We are talking about the people before, before Allah Azza wa Jal disputing with, with each other what should you do what you must what must you do before that day you should came with the truth and you should believe therein if you are one of those who came with the truth and believed then or those who believe therein you are one of those who protected themselves from the evil of that day, from the punishment of that day. 
Ula'ika humul muttaqun. Allah Azza wa Jalla says, they are the ones who protected, who are protecting them, themselves. Ula'ika humul muttaqun. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to make us from those who protect themselves, who, who, whom Allah Azza wa Jal made them successful in this life to, to protect themselves, to come with the truth and to believe in the truth, to choose the way of the truth. How and, and this ayah also describe the person uh, by not his action, by his belief, coming with the truth, saying the truth, and uh, ma making the truth, clar clarifying the truth, and وَصَدَّقَبِهِ and believing in the truth. وَالَّذِي جَاءَ بِالصَّدْقِ وَصَدَّقَبِهِ This is the way of the believers. He may have many sins, but Allah Azza wa Jal can forgive him because he came with the truth and he believed in the truth. He did not uh, arrogant against Allah Azza wa Jal. He is not one of those, one of the arrogance against Allah Azza wa Jal. He did not choose the way of arrogancy. He, he, uh, he, he aware about himself that he is one of the servants of Allah Azza wa Jal. But he may, he may did some sins in his life because he has many, many uh, weak sides, many uh, weak aspects of his uh, uh, body. So he may did some sins, Allah Azza wa Jal may forgive them all, but he did not choose the way of uh, arrogancy. He is not one of the, one of the arrogants who says that Allah, there is some gods other than Allah Azza wa Jal, or, or he uh, denies Allah Azza wa Jal completely. So he is one of those who protect themselves from the evil of that day. From the punishment of Allah Azza wa Jal at that day. I will say this, and 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 I will say this, and